Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's get crafting. For the first project, the items that you'll need are uh, this wall sticker from the Dollar Tree, which is kind of like a succulent looking sticker. And this square frame, it's like a collage frame. They have these at most of the Dollar Trees that I've been going to. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pop everything out of the frame and I'm going to put a quick coating over the frame itself because it is a black frame and I wanted it to not have so much contrast with the colors of the sticker. So I am using Waverly's chalk paint. It's called Silver Lining. Um, so it is just a very nice light gray kind of a color. And again, I'm just doing a quick dusting, I guess we can call it, um, on the frame. I'm not going to full coverage, and um, but I do want to mute down that black frame. Once you have your frame all done and painted, the next thing we're going to do is work on getting the sticker onto the glass. So um, I did take a ruler, as you can see there, just to try to figure out exactly where the center was so that I could get this heart shape down on there. Um, took a little bit, but not too bad. Um, and then I'm just smoothing it out to make sure that all of the bubbles behind it are out so that it's perfectly flat. Um, and then I'm taking a couple more of the smaller little succulent stickers and just adding this to the bottom of the main heart. Now, you don't have to do that. You could just leave the heart by itself and then use the other succulent stickers for a different DIY project later on. This is just something that I chose to do. Um, it is a little bit tough to get it to be fully lined up, but take your time, you will get it. And then what I chose to do for the background behind the picture is I just took this pastel pink scrapbook paper that I had on hand. It matched some of the colors within the sticker and that's what I chose to put behind it as, I don't know, as the background. I guess you guys could choose any color that you want. I just thought that the pink was really, really pretty. And since it's for Valentine's Day, I figured why not add a little bit more pink into this project. So let me know what you guys thought about this quick and easy first Dollar Tree DIYs. Project number two. For our second DIY, what you will need is one of Dollar Tree's little heart frames. Um, they had a few different sizes that you could choose from. I chose to go with this one. Um, and what I'm going to do first is I'm taking some antique wax from Waverly and I'm going to put a quick stain all on top of this. And then once that dries, um, I do take a little bit of some white paint to distress over this and also a little bit of red. So let me just walk you through this. So after you go ahead and get your picture frame stained in whatever kind of color you want, you can also take some brown paints, mix it with some water. Um, I would do one part brown paint and two parts water um, and try that out. And then with a fan brush, I'm going over it just with, like I said, a little bit of some white paint just to throw on a little bit of distressing because that is just what I like to do. And once my eyes are happy with however I distressed it, then I did take a little bit of some red paint and just did it around the edges of the heart only just to emphasize the heart on this. So. Once I got everything painted and it was dried, I then cut out from my Cricut this like little saying. It's got a whole bunch of different words that go with Valentine's Day. Now, you guys, if you have a Cricut and there is some kind of secret <laughs> as into how in the hell to get your words off of the back of the vinyl sheet onto your transfer paper, please please let me know in the comments below because <laughs> literally it took me like 20 minutes to get just this tiny little blurp off of <laughs> the back of the vinyl sheet and onto my transfer paper. Like 
I had to use my weeding tool. Most of like the single letters just weren't sticking onto the transfer paper. And it was, a, it was sticky. It was brand new. So it's not like the tackiness of the sticky paper was gone. No, it was a brand new sheet. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for me on how to get this to come off easier so that I don't have such a headache, I would be more than happy <laughs> if you left that in the comments down below. So after taking 20 minutes to get this darn thing onto my transfer sheet, I then was able to put it onto my piece of wood and then I had to go back in, which I didn't record for you because it would have been too long, to single-handedly put in all of the letters and stuff that did not stick to my transfer paper. So as you can see here, I'm, yes, it was just, <sighs> I love this project though, how it turned out. And because some of the, the letters and words did not stick down properly, I did go over this entire project with some Mod Podge just to help it give it a little bit more, just some kind of a barrier so that stuff didn't fall off at a later date. So, um, but that is it for this project. And then I just popped in a picture and um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one. Project number three. For our next DIY, what you will need is this Dollar Tree picture frame. It is a gray picture frame. And then also some of these arrows, which are also wall art or wall stickers as they call them. Um, I should have picked up more of these picture frames but uh, this was just, I thought, the perfect color, especially since around these arrows was like this gray, silver metallic. So what I'm doing, just like the first project, I'm just taking that wall sticker and putting it down in the glass. So when I first stuck it down with the frame, it wasn't exactly centered. So picking it back up and recentering it um, makes all the difference <laughs> in the world. So. Again, with this, um, just be mindful of where you're placing your sticker when you put it down and how it's all going to fit within your frame so then you get it nice and centered. Otherwise, if you're like me, I will just stare at it and not like it because it's not the placement I want. So um, <laughs> once you get it stuck down, then basically the only other thing that you'll need from the Dollar Tree is just this little heart that I picked up and then I printed out again for my Cricut just um, true love and I stuck that on the heart so the heart I painted white and then I just took some of that red paint and kind of just went around the edges for some distressing so you could always hand write this on there um, I'm just trying to get more familiar with my Cricut so that's why I'm doing more with this um, but once I'm done with that heart then I take a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby because they always have great sales where it's like they're 25 cents a sheet. Um, so this looks like old barn wood. And I'm going to take that heart and I'm just going to hot glue it down into the corner of this picture frame. So with this like wood background, it just makes it so much more I don't it just looks really really pretty to me so um let me know what you guys think of this DIY project uh, if you're going to recreate it again follow me over on Instagram and share some photos with me um but the only other thing that I did was with this was I also took a piece of twine and put it onto the back and hot glued it down for a hanger so that's it for this quick DIY as well I wanted these to be simple and beautiful and something that you could keep up year round if you wanted to or just have them for a nice valentine's day type decoration so in the comments below let me know which one of these diys are your favorites and again if you're going to recreate them hit me up on instagram share me a photo because i'd love to see what you guys come up with if you change anything your kind of color creations things like that so leave it down in the comments Thanks.
Okay guys, so I have a bonus DIY for you because this one is quick and simple. So the Dollar Tree had these little stands up and um, I am taking like this, it's a card from the Dollar Tree, but it had a 3D mason jar on it full of hearts. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling that mason jar off and on this frame it had just a little clip, like a paper clip. I guess that's what they're called, binder clip. Um, and I just figured we could go ahead and clip that piece of the card in there. Um, it also had some sticky back to it, but I didn't like that. And then I found a different card. Don't mind my kitty. She loves to come in and help me create and get in the way. Um, but after looking at the mason jar on here, I wasn't sure that I really, really liked it. So I did pick up a different card and... Um, it has like this 3D coffee mug on it that says love you a latte and I thought that that would look really really cute in my kitchen um, in front of like the coffee pot and teapot. So that is what I chose to do with this. Again this is just quick simple if you can pick one of these up from the Dollar Tree and then just look for their three-dimensional cards and you can do so much with these but um, I just wanted to throw this idea in with these DIY projects. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay guys, so here are all three of the Dollar Tree DIYs staged out for you. Um, again, let me know down in the comments which one you liked, if you're going to recreate any of these. And if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Rose. On this channel, we do all things DIY using Dollar Tree items. And I'd love for you to become part of my little group of followers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if this is something that you're into. And then hit that notification bell to be notified of all my my future uploads and if you'd also like you can follow me over on instagram the link is in my bio and i'll see you guys over there for a chat also thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next friday have a great day oh and happy valentine's day